My YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new video hope you're all doing well and having a great day if you're new here my name is Amanda and today I'm going to continue decluttering my kitchen with you guys so I've got a few areas in the kitchen that I really need to address now if you saw my video last Sunday I did actually start the video saying that I was going to declutter my kitchen but I was interrupted by my husband and little Oakley they came home from shopping a little bit earlier than I expected. So that meant that I had to put the decluttering of these cupboards and the other areas that I showed you on the back burner. So I'm gonna be continuing doing those today, okay? So I did actually manage to declutter this cupboard here, which has got all our glassware in. I did that off camera, but I still have this cupboard to do. I also want to declutter these utensils. Also, I'm going to be doing my junk drawer, which needs a proper declutter. And I'm going to be sorting out this basket on top here which has got a whole load of different mix match things in there and I'm going to be doing this cupboard on the side here as well okay this is the cupboard where I keep um what do we keep in here flour spices and that for cooking and herbs all in that cupboard there you know it's got some kind of system in place but it's not really working for us at the minute so I'm going to sort that out as well okay then I may I may also tackle this drawer here which is our drawer where we keep our knives, all our sharp knives and more utensils for cooking. Now there's so much here that just needs a proper declutter. So let me just recap on what I'm going to be doing with you today. I'm going to be doing this cupboard here, this small cupboard on the top of the extractor fan here, sorting out these utensils and also the side cupboard here and the two drawers on the, on the bottom here as well. Before I get started on the decluttering of my kitchen, I have to mention that this video is in collaboration with the gorgeous Claire from Penguin and Pear. On Claire's channel, you can find her doing very similar things to what I have on my channel, okay? She recently changed up her channel, and she actually was having two channels on YouTube, and she's focusing on this one, which is the Penguin and Pear one, and she's gonna be bringing you some new content, which includes decluttering, organizing, cleaning, shopping hauls very similar to what i do on my channel so i just want to take you over to claire now and let her say a couple of words about our amazing collaboration today over to you claire Thanks, amanda i'm really pleased to be doing this collaboration with you again we had so much fun last time and i know we're gonna have fun this time so to all amanda's viewers if we haven't met my name's claire and i run a channel called penguin and pear now penguin and pear has historically been a diy garment sewing channel but I am now transitioning into a more general DIY homemaking channel. So the things you can expect to see on my channel will be cleaning, decluttering, organisation, room makeovers, big DIYs, craft DIYs, you name it, it's going to be over there. So if that sounds like it's right up your street, after you've watched Amanda's video, do head over to my video and have a watch. There'll be a link down in her description, I'm sure. And if you like what you see, subscribe. So I'll throw it back to Amanda now. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, so that was Claire's introduction for this collaboration. I'm just so happy to be collaborating with Claire. This collaboration is gonna be absolutely amazing. It's gonna be her first lifestyle content on her channel, the Penguin and Pear channel, and I'm just so excited for her. And for me, I'm just so happy to actually be doing this with you guys. I've spoken about it so much on my channel, me getting my kitchen decluttered. So I'm actually gonna call this video part one where i tackle this side of the kitchen and then a part two is going to follow on where i'm going to tackle the other side of the kitchen and also the work surfaces because i've got so much things on my work surface that i really want to declutter those and minimalize it as well so if you'd like to see me clean organize and declutter my kitchen please keep watching just got back from the school run dropping oakley off to school this morning i also popped into a couple of shops so i'm going to show you what i got okay quickly before i start my decluttering <laughs> i know so I needed to get a new oil burner and this one I found in Pound Stretcher. And my other one broke that I got from, I think it was B&M. So I saw this one in Pound Stretcher. It's quite cute. Love the love hearts on it. I love that love heart vibe going on in the middle there. But when I clean the kitchen, I like to put a wax melt on, you know, while I'm cleaning. Or when I'm doing the downstairs area, the living room and so on. I always like to put a little wax melt on. So I really miss my other oil burner, the one that broke. But I managed to replace it with this one. That's $3.99 in the pound stretcher okay i've actually got them in the poundland bag this lovely marble print bag okay i didn't actually go into poundland today 
But um, I picked up these also in Pound Stretcher. And these are the Argan Oil Hair Treatment. Absolutely love this for my hair. So I picked up two boxes of those and I think those are £1.49. Okay. I also picked up in Pound Stretcher. These are natural hemp shower gloves. So I picked up two of them. They're one ninety nine each. So, you know, they're a shower glove or a bath glove. Put your hand in there, put your soap on there and just lather up your body. And I can just see that this is going to be really good for exfoliating, especially the thigh area, you know. So, yeah, picked up two of those and they're one ninety nine each. What else have I got? I also popped into Tesco, I forgot. Yes, yeah, so popped into Tesco to pick up my trusty um, hydrating daily moisturiser. This is the Tesco own brand, which is um, kind and pure. I also picked up some face wipes, which is the biogradable face cleansing wipes with calamar, rosehip, and it's got pro vitamin, oh, got pro vitamin B5 in there as well. And these are really kind to your skin. Also, I popped into savers. So in savers, I got these um, cotton socks because I like to sort of, when I'm doing my home pedicures or home feet treatment, I'll just put these socks on after I put my treatment on and I'm good to go with those. Well, not good to go. I don't wear them outside, but I wear them in the house and they really help to um, sort of keep, yeah, keep your feet moist. Okay, so that's what I got. And then also just one other item I picked up in savers. I think this is new because I haven't seen this one in, from Palmolive before. So this is the Palmolive Wellness. And this is a massage, sea salt, aloe extract and essential oil shower gel. Yes, so going to be using this on the weekend for my little self-care. So yep, yeah, that's all that I picked up um, on my little shopping spree after the school run. Now it was raining really hard this morning so I really had to just rush into the shops and just pick up a few little bits and I just thought I'd show you what I got. I'm just going to use my oil burner now, why not? Because I am going to be doing some decluttering in the kitchen after all and I want the kitchen to be smelling. I just want to have that vibe so I feel, you know, I just want to have that nice vibe so I feel nice and cosy and relaxed while I'm doing this because you know, as you know, decluttering can be quite overwhelming. So you really got to get yourself into the mood to do it. That's why I'm just going to be tackling this area for today. And I'm going to do the other area another day. Otherwise, it's going to be too much, too overwhelming. I'm just, and I'm just going to get, not bored, but I'll get sort of like disheartened and not put my all into it, you know. So I'm just going to focus on this side now. You get you get what I'm saying. Okay. So I've got these um, wax melts from B&M. I absolutely love this. This is the scent Escape and it smells absolutely gorgeous. Mandarin, lemon and pink grapefruit. A kitchen kind of scent, I would say. You know, that's why I like to use this one in the kitchen. But they are quite big blocks. I've broken off one segment of it, but I normally just cut that again because I've got a pair of scissors that I normally use for that. Just in my drawer here, if I can find it. This is why I need to declutter, guys, so I can find things. Okay, so it's in the cupboard here. So I've just got a few dishes to wash up from breakfast. So I'm just gonna wash those up first, clean the surfaces, and then get on with the decluttering. I just always find when you're decluttering, it's always best to have a clean surface because I've got to take things out of the cupboard. I don't want those to go onto like a not clean surface, if you get what I mean. So I'm just going to wash up the dishes and just wipe everything down with some disinfectant. And then if I take anything out of the cupboards, I know that it's going to go onto a clean surface. Sometimes it 
love using this Astonish Kitchen Zesty Lemon Cleaner. It's just absolutely amazing. It's your one item that you need for the kitchen, you know, really. You can clean your sink with it, the surfaces, your hob, you know, everywhere. Kitchen cupboards, door handles, inside the drawers, all of that. It's a multi-purpose kitchen cleaner and it cuts through grime like anything else. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to start by decluttering these utensils. There's just too many on there. I mean... At the minute, I'm seeing two pairs of kitchen scissors there, plus the blue ones that I just used to cut the wax melts with. I mean, I need that one just for the wax melts, but two pairs of kitchen scissors with a, just a small family of three, including little Oakley, not really needed, okay? So that's just to say the least. That as you can see, there's just too much on there. I mean, we do use all of them, but we don't need to have them on show, you know? They can go into the drawer, they can go in other places, you know? So that's what I'm, that's the plan today. Declutter, organise, and also minimalise as well. You know, I mean, I know decluttering is getting rid of stuff, so I will be getting rid of quite a lot of stuff during the whole process of decluttering this kitchen, including maybe some of these as well, you know? So anyways, let's get to it. I do actually like this system you know I do like this system because when I'm cooking I like to have everything at hand you know also hubby he likes to have everything at hand as well you know so I'm not getting rid of this completely I'm just decluttering it I'm actually happy how this is looking at the minute. It's decluttered, there's less on there. The other items which I have on the mat just there, they're either gonna get donated or put in another place in the kitchen because they are good utensils, I've got to say. Pizza cutter can go on there as well. I wish I had got a black handle one because I'm kind of transitioning from the all chrome to black and chrome, but that's absolutely fine. It works, so that looks absolutely perfect there. So I'll just show you. Okay, so that's all done and I'm absolutely loving how it's looking. I don't know why I had two of everything on there, you know, but hey, that's all part of the decluttering process, isn't it? So I'm now gonna tackle the junk drawer, which is here. And I think the best thing for me to do is to just take the whole drawer out because it's quite a small, narrow drawer, okay? So I'm just gonna take it out and pop it on top of the hob there and then go through everything that's in there which as you can see, there's a mixed match of everything. It is a proper junk drawer, okay? So I'm gonna go through that now. Then I've got my baskets, which I've been so excited to use in this drawer. You know, these are from Poundland and I'm hoping that they're gonna fit in there perfectly so I can get this drawer decluttered, organized in a way where it's no longer gonna be a junk drawer. I don't really wanna have a junk drawer in my kitchen. I don't have space for a junk drawer. You know, this drawer is just taking up too much space of um, junk which it can be used for something a bit more useful. So I'm gonna just empty the whole thing out, separate everything that I'm gonna keep into these baskets, and yeah, bye-bye to the junk drawer in the kitchen. She'll be able to win this one. But she's somebody else in the making first. She's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there. So we no longer have a junk drawer. We have a drawer that is organized and has got everything in there that we need and we can gain access to it easily as well without having to you know rummage through so um yes you might think that these are junk but these are absolutely brilliant for you know resealing wine bottles or that's why we keep these the recycled items which are very useful 
making good progress i'm absolutely happy how everything is looking how everything is organized well i've only done two areas haven't i but this already is looking absolutely amazing and then my junk drawer no longer a junk drawer so now i'm going to tackle this box at the top of this extractor fan just here this has got i'll just take it down and show you guys okay so in this box i've got a mismatch of stuff okay Becky Crocker, cake mixes, this other cake mix, um, avocado cutter, soups, you know, it doesn't need to be like this. And because it's at the top here, we tend to forget about what's in this box. You know, I know I've got some, like, um, what are these soups? These naked noodle soup. You know, I forgot that these were even in here and they're still in date. They're in date until um, May. They're in date until May this year. So lots of soups for lunch to get rid of these. So I'm just gonna go through it. I've got some boxes that I've recycled for, from some ice cream containers and I'm hoping that they're gonna work in this basket, you know, just to separate things and get them into like more organized fashion. So hold on a second. So these are the boxes here. It's from the large ice cream containers that I've kept from like when Oakley had an ice cream birthday party. You know, I always thought these will come in handy. So these can make the perfect storage solution, guys. Like there's things that you kind of throw away that you can recycle to use around the home. And that's exactly what I've done with these. Now I did go ahead and stick a chalkboard sticker on there. I've got a whole pack of these in the cupboard here. And I was thinking like maybe just to label them up and just have them at the top of the cupboard, just showing without putting them back into the basket. But if they fit into the basket, I'm just going to go ahead and put them into the basket. Okay, so they do fit in. At a bit of a squeeze, but they do fit in. So I've got three boxes in there. This is going to be a complete game changer. And I'm just so happy that I kept these boxes because they fit in there perfectly. I'm just going to go ahead now and organise them. So I've got the scoops into here. Okay, so that's how the box looks on top of the cupboard and it's absolutely fine like that. Okay, so moving on now, I'm now going to tackle this cupboard here because this is going to be the big one, guys. This is going to be the big one. Now, I've actually moved some of the glasses from when I did this one off camera. You might think this is still a bit cluttered, but trust me, guys, I've got rid of so many of the glasses that was in this cupboard beforehand. You know, I might do another declutter of it a bit later on, but for now, this is looking absolutely fine and i want to try and get this one looking more or less the same when i think about yesterday my oh my my oh my okay so this is the content of this cupboard guys there's so much so much in here so much in here oh my days now these cappuccino or coffee or latte cups i haven't seen these for ages they've been tucked away in the cupboard okay so everything's out of the cupboard i'm now just going to give the shelves a wipe down my oh my my oh my a kiss and so i did so the shelves are nice and clean they're a little bit grim to say the least i'll just show you the cloth I don't know if you can see that on there. It should be like just yellow, but it's got like dust, lots of dust on there. But anyways, it's all done now. So now I have the task of going through everything here that's on the counter, deciding what I'm going to keep and also what I'm going to donate to charity and also to friends and family, you know, because I've got so much bits here. Some of them are even new, like they haven't even been touched, you know, but it's a shame to just 
throw them away i'm definitely going to donate them or give them away to friends and family okay so if there's any friends and family out there that need any glassware you know where to find me yeah come knocking on my door and you can just take a whole bunch of this away with you okay So this is how the cupboard is looking at the moment and it looks absolutely great everything's decluttered and in its right place so this is all the bits that's left over i will be keeping this espresso coffee set put it on the other side of the kitchen where i have the coffee machine and all that but this looks absolutely great so it's time now to tackle this cupboard here now it's not too bad i did have some kind of system in place um last year during the lockdown but um, it just needs a little tweeting, I would say. It's a hard thing to know That your soul will stay hollow So this is how this cupboard is looking. I just absolutely love it as well. And I'm absolutely loving my Lazy Susan from Poundland. This is gonna be a complete game changer in terms of just finding spices for cooking with. Before I had them in this basket here, which is also very nifty, but it just meant I had to keep taking it out and then rummaging through to find a spice. Whereas this one, I can just turn it around, turn it and find the spice of my choice, which I just absolutely love these Lazy Susans. Poundland have these two pounds, guys. Okay, so the last area that I'm gonna be decluttering is this drawer here, which is our, I would say, more utensils and sharp knife drawer, okay? I really wanna get one of those knife blocks, but I'm just a little bit worried about having it on display with little children around, little Oakley around. Sometimes I have these friends over, I don't really like to have knives on display. But um, yeah, they're in the drawer here at the minute. So I do actually like this system, this um tray, this plastic tray. I've seen so many wood ones and I've been very tempted to buy them. But I think with plastic, I think it's sort of more hygienic. You can clean it easily. This can easily go into the dishwasher as well. Whereas with wood, you can't really do that. All you can do is wipe them down. So I'm quite happy with this for now, this um plastic tray, okay? It does the job, I've just got too much things in there. So I'm just gonna take everything out now and declutter. I mean, how many wooden spatulas can one person have? Not one person, but how many, how many spatulas can one household have, you know? Take all of these out. Be careful with the sharp knives.
yeah so here it is all decluttered more organized and i just absolutely love it and i'm just going to put the chopping board just over here just to cover those knives Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I'm so happy that I was able to declutter the areas in my kitchen that needed addressing. There will be a part two to this video where I'm gonna be tackling that side of the kitchen, which I'm not gonna show you now because I've taken out so much things from this side of the kitchen and put it over there. It's a real hot mess. So if you guys have come over from the lovely Claire's channel, penguin and pear welcome over here guys my name is amanda and on my channel you can find me doing all these kind of things decluttering organizing a little bit of motherhood diys shopping hauls a mixed bag of lifestyle content so if that's your vibe i'd love for you to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell i'd like to say thank you to the lovely claire for collaborating with me on this video it's been absolutely amazing it's kind of giving me the push and motivation to get things done in my house I've been decluttering like mad and I'm on a mission to get this house decluttered, proper decluttered and organised by summer. There's going to be lots of decluttering and organisation videos. That's enough about me waffling on about that. Thank you so much for all your lovely messages for my birthday video that I posted the other day. I was so overwhelmed with that. I wasn't, I was quite reluctant of posting that video because of course all of you are going to know my age. But it is my age guys, that's how old I am and I feel absolutely great. Sometimes I have, you know, we have good days, we have bad days. I know some of you lovely subscribers have asked me for particular content and I am working on them. I've got my self-care one coming up very soon and I've also got a home tour where I'm going to show you my beautiful home and how it stands at the moment. You know, I'm just so grateful to even have a roof over my head. So I will be doing um, a home tour very soon, okay? One other thing I've got to say to you, I forgot, sorry. I'm currently running a question and answer, a Q&A over on my community page. So feel free to ask me anything personal, anything about YouTube, keeping it clean, of course. I'll be answering my Q&A shortly, okay, on the channel. So stay tuned for that Thank as well, Thank you so much guys. for watching. Take care, keep well, and I shall see you on my next video. Bye.